Do you get annoyed by people sending out pictures of their meals on Instagram and Facebook? Yes, sometimes. Okay. <laughs> well, it turns out they may be happier than you. A new study shows that the picture takers are having a better time. The mm. researchers say that you get more involved in an experience when you're taking pictures, so you actually enjoy it more. Before, researchers were like, okay, maybe it's the delayed gratification of you have to take a picture and post it on Instagram, and that's what's making your food taste better. But now they're saying, Mike, this is not just about food. Mm. It's all experiences oh. if you're engaging in pictures you are having a better time oh okay <laughs> sure you, are. you don't think so no i don't think so i mean in for me i want to be in the moment right when i go to i just went to a concert last week and i purposely put my phone in my pocket and put it on silent mm -hmm. so i didn't take myself out of the moment to take a picture that's the one thing that can kind of break that spell of being there for me I don't know. Well, didn't Adele recently at one of her concerts say, hey, everybody, put the phones away. Yeah, I'm up enjoy. here. Enjoy, yeah. Right. But this is based on, you. they've sent people through several different scenarios and said, okay, half of you are going to have a phone to take pictures and half of you are not. Yeah. And so that's where this research came from. But Matt, I, I am one of those people, I love taking pictures when I'm on trips. And I will actually spend a lot of time looking through those pictures later. I love those memories. Yeah. And I do feel like I get a little bit more out of it. Well, I think it's one thing if you're, you're taking that photo in the moment and you know you put the phone away but I think for a lot of people you take the phone out you get that picture and then oh now I'm on a Facebook and now I'm on a Twitter mm. and now you've pulled yourself out of that moment you're distracted and right. you're not taking in what's around or you're you. taking 20 pictures yeah and yeah. there was sure. research even done at, at restaurants saying service is slower because waiters and waitresses are so busy taking pictures of people at the restaurant <laughs> rather than serving people the food <laughs> which makes sense a couple of interesting things I found out of this study uh, there's there is of course a limit to this I mean if you're in blocking other people's enjoyment if you're that person who's kind of reaching over with the camera right standing on the chair to get the yeah. above shot. <laughs> yeah. but the other two limits that I that I thought were just kind of funny is that if the camera is hard to carry it limits the enjoyment so maybe the big bulky ones also they tested this with people on a safari okay and those who took pictures of the lions attacking the water buffalo and seeing all the blood and guts and everything they actually had a less enjoyable experience oh. Oh, mm. the close-ups are probably more than they want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe anyway. for those of us who don't really enjoy posting our meals on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, maybe the happy medium is, okay, take that picture, but then don't annoy the rest of us by putting it on, on social media, uh, begging for us to like your picture. Getting the approval of the mask. <laughs> Be your own That's person. It. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I get some good food ideas from other oh, people. Okay, this is a losing battle. That is true. <laughs> <laughs>